The Mamba Mentality is a book written by the famous basketball player Kobe Bryant. Known as the Black Mamba, Kobe introduced to the world the term Mamba Mentality, which in his own words means to be able to constantly try to be the best version of yourself, a constant quest to be better today than you were yesterday. Seizing an opportunity to mentor young players around the globe, Bryant reveals the exact steps he took to prepare mentally and physically in order to excel at the game of basketball. In this video, we will highlight some important points this inspiring athlete made in his book. At Read & Grow, we review the books you want to read and present them to you in a short and memorable video. Make this channel part of your daily routine and check our book summaries for timeless principles, new insights, and unwavering motivation. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell in order to stay tuned. The first part of the book is about Kobe Bryant's work process. Here are our top takeaways from that part. Champions work at midnight. You may think that nights are for sleeping, but this was not the case for Kobe. In addition to the five NBA championships he helped the Lakers win, Bryant was famous for his work ethic. If all other players had two practices per day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, the basketball star gained an edge by adding an extra practice at midnight. We all know that practice is what makes champions, so over the course of several years, this can make the difference between a champion and a loser. Film study sessions create champions. All great sports players are obsessed with watching and studying their past performances on the field, and Kobe was no different. From a young age, he was watching every game he could get his hands on. In the book, he puts it this way, it was fun to me. During the years, this routine evolved and the study sessions went from watching what happened to analyzing what could have and what should have happened. The only way a person can stay on top is to always keep searching for things to improve. Working off the court is a must. Champions may be crowned on the court, but they are born off the court. There is a lot of work that needs to be done off the court each and every day, and Kobe knew this. Aside from training the body, the NBA superstar also took great care of his mind. By reading, by paying attention in class and in practice, he strengthened his focus and his ability to be present. Just as important as reading was cultivating relationships with the great players before him. They were his mentors, the North Stars, who he learned from and looked up to. Asking a lot of questions is the way. To be the best in any field, you need to make a study of it and know the subject inside out. One way of doing it is by asking a ton of questions. In the book, Bryant shares, I was curious. I wanted to improve, learn, and fill my head with the history of the game. No matter who I was with, a coach, Hall of Famer, teammate, and no matter the situation, game, practice, vacation, I would fire away with question after question. Some people will appreciate such curiosity and passion. Some won't. The Lakers superstar would rather risk being embarrassed by asking a question than not knowing something that would have helped him improve in some way. A routine can change over time. The approach shouldn't. Preparation always starts with the mind. Kobe's pregame and postgame routines changed a lot during the years. When you are young, you are focused on one thing. Around the end of your career, focus shifts to different subjects. The only aspect that shouldn't change is an obsession. As Kobe puts it, you have to enter every activity, every single time, with a want and need to do it to the best of your ability. In the second part of the book, Kobe shares stories about some of his close teammates and some of his great rivals throughout the years. He talks about what made them so special to him and how all of these people helped him become a better player. What sets this book apart from others in this genre is the stunning photographs by the Hall of Fame photographer Andrew Bernstein, which nicely supplements the narrative. The Mamba mentality is full of inspiring stories. It takes you inside the mind of one of the most intelligent, analytical, and creative basketball players ever. It doesn't matter if you are a basketball fan or not. If you are searching for success in any area, this book will bring you one step closer to your goals. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. This will help us spread our message to more people. Please check our channel for more videos like this.